it becomes clear a new way is needed. It's obvious that if you could affect the market, distort it in some way, you could reach more people, your influence would spread. And in the long term, that's got to be faster and easier. If you do that, then people are going to be drawn to you. You don't need to spend all your time chasing them. I, I like working in small growing businesses, it's a sense of achievement, it's a sense of self-determination, 99% of that effort goes into making money. I'm a precise man and I, I like to have guarantees and investments for me is a little, a little like gambling. If I give my, my money to someone else, like, it's important for me to know what they're doing with it and I would need to see, to see that. I mean 6.75 is obviously a little better than 6.73. And, and, and well, we have quite a personal um, relationship with our clients. We like to bring them in, sit down, talk to them face to face, find out exactly what it is they're after and how we can really kind of boost their um, reputation within their own business. So instead, split an hour meeting into four reels. Get your heads down and intensely look at the figures for 15 minutes. After that, have a real change and perhaps for the next 15 minutes have an upbeat and lively discussion about future plans and what those figures highlight. Priorities. Everyone's got a list of things to do. But how do you prioritise them? And what do you do with the tasks when they're prioritised? This Learning Bike goes hand in hand with our Priorities podcast, which you can download and listen to later. The whole of the downstairs is flooded. It's a complete disaster. Everything's ruined. Oh, it's never been this bad. I mean, right now I'm, I'm knee deep in water and everything around me is ruined. Oh, Luke, I'm sorry to hear that. It must be awful for you. Communication is a type of theatre where we each wear masks and reuse lines. We don't approach every situation from scratch. We carry with us knowledge and history that colours what we say. Because we spend so much time communicating, we've become highly efficient at it. Before a train could enter a section of track, this signal box would ask the next signal box if the previous train had gone through. If it had, the track was definitely clear. Obviously this is just a bit of fun, but it generally was done this way in the old days. Today, railway systems are built around modern processor-based systems. <laughs> 